Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very special announcement in relationship to the Emo Reads Book Club and my TBR for the Breath of the Wild readathon. Let's get into the video. If you guys don't know, the Breath of the Wild readathon is a readathon that is started by Kaz from Little Book Isle, and I will leave their video along with all our hosts down in the description. And the Emo Reads Book Club is a book club that I started. I'm probably not going to start it back up officially until December, but it's a book club that I had initially started. So I'm just going to start with the two books that I have in mind for the Emo Reads Book Club for the months of December and January. The book for December is a fairly recent DNF and and it is The Merchant of Venice to the series that we're going to be reading starting in January. Wizard of Oz series by L. Frank Baum. This edition was illustrated by W.W. Densla. The rest of the books that I have are for the Breath of the Wild readathon. Although I'm not putting myself through pressure enough pressure to complete all five of these books. Because two of the books that I ha already have on my TBR are books that I al already am currently reading at the moment. And as soon as I saw that perk, I was like, okay, I'm doing that. So let's just get into that. First book I'm going to be reading is for reading a book out of my comfort zone, which is mystery thrillers, which is not a genre that I go into all the time, but I am very familiar with this author's works. So I figured, although the genre may be out of my comfort zone, but I figure read it anyway. Although I'm familiar with the author, I'm not familiar with this book specifically. It's Friars Cross Street by Lisa McMahon, and plus it's a short book. To the Blood Moon Challenge, which is to read a book that's over 10 years old, I'm reading The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. If you guys know, I've been pretty much getting into Nicholas Sparks's books recently. I don't really know what this is about at all. The book that I'm going to be reading for the Read a Sequel Challenge. Challenge. Um, do what? The other book that I have that is also a sequel. Cats. Fits another challenge, which we're going to talk about later. The sequel that I'm going to be reading is Masquerade. Let's go get you. It's actually been going Masquerade from Phantom Night at the Opera. For whatever reason, I don't know why. And this is the sequel to Lou Buds, oh, is also quite evidently from this author. So. Okay. Sir, you can go on the lap. Uh uh. You're coming from the other house. Yeah. You're, th th that show me your. Come here. The next prompt to pretty much read a spooky book. This one may not be classified as scary, but I know that there's trigger warning for mass murder and all. Is Siren by Kira Cass. Pretty much a siren slash mermaidy mythology fantasy. And the last book that I'm going to be reading, which is pretty much reading a book with water in the title, which this is probably stretching it a lot. The point is, I'm going to be continuing on with Sea Spell by Jennifer Donnelly. But regardless, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you soon with a brand new video. Bye.